Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to actually preview something that I've been working on and I'm really excited to talk about this project and basically I've been working hard for like the past like week or two. Now so uh, if you guys don't know, CP3O, he's a character in Star Wars, he's an android or you, we could call him a robot and uh, he was built by Anakin Skywalker. And I've always thought he was an interesting character because, you know, he was an AI, he was a robot. And I, I was always into robotics, so I always had this in the back of my mind. I always thought that maybe one day I can build CP3O. And I thought that was a cool idea. I was always into robotics and programming. But at that time, up until recently, there was no way to actually get this done. You know, we didn't have like AI we didn't have all this cool software. We didn't have Raspberry Pis back then or Arduino. So it pretty much w was impossible. But today we have everything we could ever need and more. So basically, I, I saw this head. This is a Star Wars Disney CP3O. I think it's a full-sized head. And I got it for like $150. And I thought it was cool. But as soon as I got it, I, I realized this was perfect this was perfect for the project that i always wanted to, to complete the project i always wanted to work on the cp3o ai or you know something that i talk to and it talks to me back and it sounds like cp3o but you know that would be ultimate you know and it's got the the knowledge of a, a you know any ai like chat gbt so I, I i started thinking about it and i started planning it and I realized that I could actually use a Raspberry Pi because it's small enough and powerful enough. I, I recently got a Raspberry Pi 5, 16 gigabyte version. And that was like 150 bucks, I think it was. And I and I realized that this probably can run, uh, you know, like something like uh, ChatGPT API. And it would be perfect. And it's ChatGPT uh, API, if you guys don't know, ChatGPT is probably like the most power or, or powerful and the most popular AI company out there. They have the best large language models, but the only problem with the ChatGPT API is just that you have to pay for it. It's not free. So I was like, you know, I don't really care. And I'm not going to really have this running 24 hours a day. So it uh, it's pennies basically to run it like for a few hours. So I was like, all right. So I spent maybe 15 hours going back and forth. Uh, coding Python using ChatGPT 5 and you know troubleshooting it after 15 hours I realized that this it was not going to work with ChatGPT or ChatGPT's API so I was like you know what let's use something else like a uh, local large language model or one of the free ones you could download and there, there's a bunch of them you know Google has Gemini uh, I think Facebook has Llama and there are a few other ones DeepSeek and I was like, you know what? Let's let's tr let's try that out. Let's see if that works. So I spent another like 15 hours of coding this in Python, going back and forth with uh, ChatGPTs and, and troubleshooting all the code. And I, I got to a point where it actually works. So I I connected my Raspberry Pi to a uh, to a monitor and two speakers to a USB uh, mic and speakers, and uh, I ran the Python code and. And it just works. So we're going to transition to that part of it working. And I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So now we're recording the Raspberry Pi 5. And uh, as you can see on top here, this is a Raspberry Pi 5 right here. This is the Raspberry Pi 5 logo. This is the start menu. And I'm using uh, VS Code to run the Python. And um, this code here, it took me like uh, 10 or 15 hours of of just going back and forth coding with ChatGPT 5. And I spent so much time coding and debugging. I originally was coding for a ChatGPT API version of this. So I, I wanted ChatGPT to uh, to be the brains because it, it is the most powerful one and it'll be the quickest. But uh, the only, the only uh, downside of that is you have to pay for it. So, but uh, unfortunately, uh, ChatGPT API uh, just didn't work with this project. Now it did work with the ChatGPT, but I couldn't get the voice to uh, to uh, to work with any of this. 
So what I did is, is I scratched the entire thing and I started from scratch. And I uh, I thought of just using a local model, like uh, one of the free ones. So uh, I knew about Olama. I've been using Olama for, for a little while now. And Olama, what Olama does, it basically just runs local models like, you know, uh, Llama or any other local model. So I decided to uh, try to get this to work. And I, I actually did. So again, more, many more hours of coding for this version. And now uh, I have Gemini 2 to be running on this and it works really well. So it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but it, it does work. So I'm going to test it out. Now we're, we're going to run the program. The program is running. Now it's asking me to uh, say something. So hello there. As you can see on the bottom here, it's picking up my, th my uh, text my greetings. Asterisk clears throat. Asterisk may I be of assistance. So as you can see, it, it replied. Now I'm going to say something else. It got what I said uh, while I was talking to you guys. Text R, of course. Please do tell me what I might assist with, my dear. Anything at all? Smiling face with smiling eyes. What is a tree? Text a tree. My good sir slash madam is a tall, woody plant with roots that firmly anchor it in the ground. Who is Han Solo? Text R. Han Solo, a most charming rogue pilot with a penchant for adventure and questionable choices at times. This is pretty much the end of this preview. So if you guys are excited, one, if you guys are not uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because you know you, you, you're gonna be um, uh, you're gonna be notified when the new videos will be coming out. And if you like this video, please like this video. And if if you want, leave a comment. I'm Rasim from RossMurtech.com, and thank you guys for what. Wait, I'm Rasim from RossMur-Tech.com. I don't have the RossMurtech.com anymore. Link will be in the description. See you guys later.